Welcome to Mentoring and Gospel Ministry. My name is Dr. Bo Rice and I'm the Associate Dean of Supervised Ministry and Mentoring Programs here at NUBTS and, and I teach in the, in the area of evangelism and, and preaching. I want to say thank you here at the very beginning of this course just to, just to say thank you for, for the responsibility that you have, the opportunity that you have to, to invest, to entrust in the next generation of students. I, I do appreciate your time and, and your talents and, and your energy that you will pour into the student throughout the semester. It is an encouragement to me to know that you've agreed to, to really to, to spend your, your energy and, and your time investing in our students. At no point, please understand, at no point are you responsible for, for the teaching of any of the content of the course. Please know that a professor of record here from the main campus at NOBTS would be responsible for the education, for the online education. But what you get to do is, is you get to import, you get to equip our students to give them practical experience of, of what it looks like to be involved in gospel ministry. So, so please know that uh, we greatly appreciate what you are doing, giving our students the opportunity to, to have that, that experience in their life, even while they're learning through online learning. Why, why does mentoring matter? It, it, first off, it should suffice to say that it's following the example of Christ, but, but also it's unfortunate. It's been said that 90% of churches have no form of mentoring in their, in their ministry. Now, obviously, this is different from discipleship. Many churches have some form of discipleship, but this mentoring is really taking that next generation of ministers, those who've surrendered their lives to the call of the gospel, and, and now you have the opportunity to pour into them, to really equip them, to help them know what it means to be involved in gospel ministry. So again, I just want to say thank you for your time and for your energy. You do have some responsibilities, though. Please, please know that at the very beginning of the semester, you'll be asked to, to fill out a mentor agreement form and, and your student will provide you with that. Also, you'll come up with a, a covenant or some goals with your student. Uh, if this is not your first time to be involved in a mentoring course, you might have already composed a covenant. You probably have already written a covenant or some goals that you, you've had with your student. I, I would encourage you to, to hold on to that. You can tweak it. You can, you can make uh, changes per, every semester, especially as it relates to the course, Mentoring and Gospel Ministry. But I would encourage you to, to let your student, make sure your student keeps a copy of that covenant. They will, they will have to submit it each semester, but, uh, but you can really come up with, with goals and, and a plan for, for ministry, mentoring in the gospel ministry. You also are responsible for some mentor training. Some of you, many of you probably have already completed that training, but you will have to fill out a mentor training verification. If you've already done that, just make sure your student has a copy of it because, you're, again, your student will be responsible for uploading that into our Blackboard shell. Also, that please, if you haven't, uh, obviously, if you're already watching this video, you've been approved to serve as a mentor through NOBTS. But if you haven't taken the time to, to fill out an application for your church or your parachurch church organization, please do so. We need to make sure that uh, not only that you are approved as a mentor, but that we can get your site, your church approved as, as a mentoring site. And you can go to our website, the same place where you clicked on the link to fill an application to serve as a mentor. You can do that there as well to fill out an application for your for your site to be approved as a mentoring site. And then also know that your greatest responsibility is going to be meeting weekly with your student. And, uh, and we'll come back to that here in just a moment. But, but let me give you just an overview of what, of what mentoring and gospel ministry is all about. The purpose of the course, is the, the purpose of this course is to provide quality theological education to students in the discipline of pastoral ministries in a mentorship environment. So what does that look like? Well, this course will aid students to develop competency in gospel ministry in a semester-length learning experience that involves the student in, in a practical ministry with, with an academic professor and also an improved on-site mentor. The, the student will experience a variety of ministry situations and opportunities in which they will learn and apply principles of ministry under the guidance of a faculty member and you as, as their on-site mentor. Some of the learning outcomes that we want our students to have at the end, by the end of the semester, and really what you want, we want you to to encourage our students to come away with is by the end of the course, the student will number one understand selected principles and practices in the area area of gospel ministry. We'll, we'll even give you a, a suggested list of of, of, of ministries of of different things that we want them to experience throughout the semester as they're learning what gospel ministry is all about. Secondly, we want them to value the role and functions of gospel ministry in the context of the local church or and or the parachurch organizations. And finally, we want them to be able to demonstrate skills and acceptable proficiency in selected functions of gospel ministry. 
Please, again, let me, under, let me, uh, let me highlight the fact that, uh, that, that you are no, at no point are you responsible for teaching the content of the course. That, that will be done by the professor, but the student will bring to you each week in your weekly meeting uh, content related to the course. At the very beginning of the semester, we want our student to, to provide you with a copy of the syllabus. Uh, you're not responsible for doing any of the work, but we want you to be aware of what the student will be held accountable for. Uh, each week as you meet with your student, the student will bring to you content related to the course that they will receive through their online learning. So you may not have access to that, but, but they will bring to you each week just highlights or bullet points or discussion questions that we, that we as professors here on the campus, that, that we want them to have those conversations with you. So in that one hour meeting, content will, will drive about half of that meeting, but we actually want you in the first 30 minutes to really discuss spiritual disciplines. We, we want you to discuss with your student what it means to have a prayer life. Are they continuing to have their prayer life? Are, are they having their quiet time? Are, are they memorizing scripture? So we really, we want you in the first 30 minutes of that one hour meeting, we want you to really focus on spiritual disciplines. But then for 30 minutes, it will be related to the content of the course. But again, let me highlight, let me stress that the student will bring to you the content each week that we would have you uh, to further discuss and what it looks like in the ministry of the, of the local church. The student will be responsible for, for working at least a minimum of 90 hours in the semester uh, in their ministry setting. You have a, an incredible opportunity to guide them in that as it relates to gospel ministry in the context of a local church or a, or a pair church organization. You get, to, you get to equip them, you get to, to lead them and guide them in those 90 hours. And so they will be keeping a journal and describing those, those meetings, that they, those ministry opportunities that they have. And so they'll be responsible for keeping up with that journal but you can guide them in those ministry opportunities. The student also will develop a ministry strategy paper. Uh, it's a rather lengthy paper that they'll be responsible for, but again, you get to have the opportunity to guide them even, even in the choosing of the content, the topic of that paper. There's a lot of flexibility in mentoring and gospel ministry. We want our students to be able to, to really focus in on a particular area of ministry that they feel the Lord leading them to. And so you get to encourage them in that and help them help guide them even in that ministry paper. Again, let me, let me just take the moment to take the time to say thank you. Uh, please know that I will be praying for you throughout this semester as, as you entrust into the next generation of ministers what's been entrusted to you, the, the truth of the gospel ministry, what that looks like in reaching a lost and dying world, what, what that looks like in edifying the local body, what it means to, to build up the local church. Please know that I will be praying for you as you do exactly what Paul encouraged Timothy to do in 2 Timothy 2.2, 2, to entrust to faithful men and women what's been entrusted to him so that, so that they then might turn around and be able to entrust it into others. That, that's what the Entrust Mentoring Community is all about. This, this mentoring and gospel ministry is one of our, our core competency, one of our, one of our core courses in our mentoring format. And, and so this is a, it's a lot of work for the student, but, but it's a, a wonderful opportunity for you to lead and guide them in the ministry the local church the, or the local church peer organization. And so you have a, a wonderful opportunity to lead and guide them. And we just want to say thank you for your time and your investment. God bless.